Shalom, welcome to Challenging Torah, a project of the Malibu Jewish Center and Synagogue. This week's portion, it's Avim, is always the portion right before Rosh Hashanah. And it begins with Atem Nitzavim Kochem Ayom. You are all standing here today. And I always think this is the warm up for the fact that at some point in the next week, all of you will be standing shoulder to shoulder with people in the congregation and people you don't know. Some of them are strangers. Some of them are people just wandering through Malibu. Some of them are your very best friends. Some of them are your family. Atem nitzavim kochem hayom. To stand, and nitzavim means we stand ready and in action and paying attention. And you are to stand with the stranger who is in your camp, the hewer of wood, the drawer of your water, that the Lord, your God, will make an oath with you this day. Much of the holiday is very scripted, is very ritual. And this is a ritual. This ritualistic standing and proclaiming who you are, what you are, and the unity that exists in this group. Everybody in the community stands and everyone has their own personal commitment and everyone is different. We always say that God is an amazing creator because all of the coins are stamped out and every single coin is different. And so we each bring our gifts and we bring our own concerns into this holiday as we stand together. Everyone in the community makes a renewal of this vow. The first time was the vow at Sinai. I think of this vow as the vow, you've been married for 40 years and now we're going to stand here in Moab and say, oh no, now I really see what it is to be in a committed relationship we will accept this commitment. Much more difficult to do than that young 20-something marriage. And so with this commitment, it says, and not only is this commitment with you alone, will I make this covenant and this oath, but with those who stand here this day before the Lord your God, and with those who are not here this day. This means you. Seriously, someone made a vow, a commitment to me as a member of the Jewish people, made it for me to God 3,000 years ago. And I am still obligated to honor that commitment. That is an amazing statement. And we chafe against it and we wonder and then slowly we discover we really are part of a Jewish people. And our commitment is to this Torah and the instructions that we have sworn under oath 3,000 years ago, standing in the plains of Moab, to follow through with our commitment. As God says, and you shall be then my treasured people, and I will be your God. We now come to the place where we renew that commitment again every year. This is Tshuva, and this portion does fall in the days when we start to think about tshuva. Tshuva really means to turn. And in the following paragraph, it is said seven times the word tshuva appears. And you shall return to the Lord your God and obey his voice according to all that I command you this day, you and your children with all your heart and with all your soul. Then the Lord your God will turn you carefully and have compassion on you, and you will return and gather you from all the nations where God may have scattered you. That the Lord your God will turn your captivity and have compassion upon you. you. You will return, and God will gather you from all the nations where the Lord your God has scattered you. This is strange. Moses is telling them even before they go into the land, look, I can see. You guys are going to blow it. It's going to be terrible. You will go into captivity. You will almost be 
finished, toast, I'm going to bring you back. And that's our life, right? We wouldn't have to show up on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur except to say hi to everybody if we didn't have to do some turning. It's inevitable that we'll step on someone else's foot during this year. Harm someone we didn't mean to harm. Harm ourselves in ways we didn't mean to. Now is the time for tshuva. This is the moment of introspection. And to do so, God says, you have to gimol et livabcha. Literally circumcise the scar tissue of your heart. A closed heart can't really do tshuva. It's just words. Our heart has to break open in these days. And then God says, choose life. I set before you. I call heaven and earth to witness this day that you stand before life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore, choose life. Choose life to the very last drop of life. Clear the decks of what you don't need to carry forward to the next year. Open your heart and take this time to do tshuva, standing together, nitzavim, with your community. See you on Rosh Hashanah and wishing everybody a Shana Tovah.